I began to feel, to try and figure out what was where, what I was, and at the same time, I felt I was going to lose my breath, and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to drown. Only on CBS 13, the pilot of the seaplane who crash landed into the American River is speaking about the moment of impact and the struggle to get out alive. That pilot says the wheels were down when the plane hit the water, blaming himself for the crash as he prays for the recovery of his passenger and friend. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Angela Greenwood. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at Discovery Park where he met up with that pilot tonight. Steve. And this is a man who's had his pilot's license for more than two decades, and he's landed his seaplane in Sacramento waterways before. Now he says he may never fly again. It's worse than it looks. Pilot Keith Hesmelhouch still has a bloody forehead from the crash. It's an abrasion from where my head and my hat was still on, was forced into the windshield or windscreen, we call it, on the airplane. Hesmel House says he's okay. Physically, I am fine. His seaplane crash landed in the American River. It became submerged after he says the plane's wheels were down for the planned water landing. It looked like one of my best water landings ever. Such a beautiful day. And then suddenly it wasn't. Hesmel Hatch fears the wheels were down because of his own pilot error. I feel a sense of failure, a, a sense of guilt over not being the kind of pilot that we all are supposed to be. He recounted the terrifying first moments under the water. His self inflated life vest intended to save him had instead trapped him and pushed him into the back of the plane, a dark cargo area. I was frantic to figure out what was going on because I was very aware that I was holding my breath and the air was five or six feet above me. After finally making it above water, he dove down again and again to free his passenger, now unconscious and still strapped to her seat. I can tell you it looks just like it does in the movies. It, it, it was just, it was bad. Finally freeing her on his fourth dive, he performed CPR until first responders arrived. She is still in critical condition. A crash landing and a harrowing underwater escape. Now this seaplane pilot with a love of flying is focused on his passenger making a complete recovery. It all seemed so simple until it didn't go that way at all. You know, this pilot credits the homeless camping along the American River who watched that plane go down and were the first to call 911. He says if first responders hadn't arrived so soon, his passenger may not have initially survived. What a story. Got a feel for the guy and wish his passenger the best of luck. Steve, thank you.